In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a fire text effect in art text using the spray fill feature and different distortion effects. I will start by adding a rectangle from Smart Shapes under the Shapes tab, then fill it with an oval type gradient. Fire text usually looks good on a darker background, so I will create a dark gradient with a center. For this, I will add three gradient color transition dots. You can find the exact color parameters and all other parameters in the text tutorial on this page. To create the background glow effect, I pull the dark red dot somewhere one-third of the way from the black one, and the red dot two-thirds of the way from the black one. Now let's move on to adding a text and working with it. To add a text layer, I use the plus button in the bottom ribbon, and then click Add 2D Text. Once a default text is added, I will change it to Fire in the Text tab of the inspector and change the text font to Avenir Next Condensed Bold by pressing the Font button and selecting the necessary one. I will also increase the kerning to spread the letters slightly. Once I'm done with text formatting, I can change its color via the Fill tab of the inspector. I will use the red color, the exact color parameters you'll find in the text tutorial. The distortions effects can be applied to 2D text only, and they modify the text object contour. These distortion effects alter the font shape beyond standard typeface options. To add a distortion, I will switch to the Effects tab of the inspector and click on the plus button, then select the necessary effect. To enter distortion parameters, I click on the gear wheel icon. I will add roundness, displacement, blur, mask, and outer distress distortions. For a realistic text on fire effect, it is necessary to create three more text layers, but with different distortion effects and text colors. For this, I will again add and customize the text and customize the distortion. When I create a new text layer, I change the word to fire and position it right above the previous text layer. The list of distortion effects and parameters for each of the text layers you'll find in the text tutorials on this page. Now that I have the core of the flaming text ready, it's time to add some flame tongues to bring in a more realistic, fiery look. For this, I will use the spray fill feature that can distribute flame tongue photo objects within the text shape. I will add one more text layer with the word fire and choose the same font and kerning as with the other fire text layers. I will position and resize this word in a way that covers most of the text layers beyond it. Then I open the Fill tab of the inspector and switch to Spray. To add flame tongue fill objects, I click on the plus button and select the Fire category. Then I add the following objects. Fire 1, Fire 2, Fire 3, Fire 4, Fire 5, Fire 6, Fire 7, Fire 8, Fire 9, and Fire 10 by clicking on them. Once done, I can move on to adjusting the spray fill properties. To finish with this layer, set the blend mode to screen. Use this blend mode on all but the fourth text layer, where you should use addition blend mode. There you are, the fire text effect is ready. Now, if you select every text layer in the layers panel, you can easily change the fire word via the text tab to flame, hot, love, or any other word you want. 